man, I'm gonna post a video, you know, probably in the description and I might even chop it up and put it in here. But I'm gonna show you why these women hated Kevin Samuels. And I'm also gonna give you a little bit of wisdom on why what he was saying was very truthful, but he just missed the mark on giving you the message with an anointing, with having oil on it. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Closer to God Ministries, where we push forward in the kingdom of the Most High Yah. Closer to God Ministries is for those who really want to learn true submission, true obedience, reverence, and a fear of the Most High Yah. One thing about Closer to God Ministries is I'm not afraid to push the envelope. There's a lot of things that go on in the world that need to be addressed, but religious leaders won't talk about it. Closer to God Ministries, I'm pushing forward. Each man must be convinced in his own mind. I'm going to give you the disclaimer. This is not for everybody. If you're somebody that has a soft spirit, a sensitive spirit, you don't like that hard truth that can set you free, this is not for you. But if you choose to stay tuned, don't just run off on the plug with my content. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn your notifications on so you can see when I'm posting new content. And then if you really want to support the channel, check out the doggone link in the description for some exclusive discount codes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Glory to the most high, y'all. Welcome back to another righteous spirit filled episode we back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man i'm gonna post a video at the end of this or in the description and i want you to go back and check it out watch this full video in entirety i don't know if i'll post the whole thing you know i don't want to get copyright or anything like that but this woman says some of the most blasphemous stuff you know, outlandish stuff, and she wonders why she's in the boat she's in. Now, here's the thing. Kevin Samuels made a name for himself by women paying him to be able to call in and ask him questions and to be able to seek his wisdom. But here's the thing. I'll tell you, these women that are struggling, you know, wanna go to a man that's not struggling, but at the same time, when that man gives them the wisdom on how to help them not struggle, they want to tell the man why his wisdom is not good. But you got to remember, you know, you got to remember who's struggling and who ain't, especially when you come to this. You know, I'm a happily married man serving the Most High Yah, you know, and people tuning into this, you may be watching this trying to get a man. But you can see time and time again the delusion that Kevin Samuel had to deal with from these women. Now, I don't agree with 100% everything that he was saying when it comes to the number rating of looks and all of that because you can have a woman that's a, a ugly duckling to you, but to some other man, he gonna, she gonna be off the chain to him. Bottom line, point blank, period. But this woman goes as far as saying she has a excellent dating resume that pretty much just wound up to a whole bunch of high-end penises being in her. Ain't nobody wiped her up. Crazy. Then she goes on, you know, talking about God is a woman and all of it. I'm, I said, man, you cannot make this stuff up. And here's the thing. The churches are flooded with women that believe like this. Believe this nonsense. The same stuff that this lady is putting out. And in this video, you're going to see that Kevin Samuels tried to reel her in to reality. Only thing was, a lot of what Kevin Samuels said was truthful. But, you know, in order to pack a punch with that truth, he could have he could have gave it with an anointing. He could have gave some scripture behind it. You got a woman sitting up here talking about her resume is good when she's in slept with all these high profile men that didn't want to wife her up. What about the scripture talking about a prudent wife? You know, a precious wife, you know, a, 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 a precious wife who can find. She's far more precious than jewels and rubies. But Kevin Samuels was a Christian man that probably wasn't that study didn't know how to navigate some of these arguments.
Because here's the thing. You know, me, you click on the Closer to God Ministries, you automatically can see that, hey, okay, this man is in a covenant with the Most High Yah. So my question to you is, as a woman and you watching this stuff, you know, are you in a covenant with the Most High Yah? Because if you are not in a covenant with the Most High Yah, I cannot impart the word of the Most High Yah on you and think that it's going to penetrate because you reject it, because you don't believe. But churches are flooded with women just like this, delusional, delusional, you know, wanting the 1% of man and just disregarding the 99 that possibly might be willing to offer her an opportunity, you know, just hoping for that builder bear man to come along. And it's never gonna happen. This is what Kevin Samuels was trying to tell this young lady. And she goes into some delusional type stuff. Delusional type stuff. Complete nonsense. And you can start to see not only spiritual retardation, but there might be something else going on there. Because this chick ain't got it all. She ain't got it all. These are the same chicks that will fill out these applications to get on uh, Married at First Sight and all these reality shows and get on there and just be doing all kind of wicked stuff and just saying whatever they feel. Saying whatever they feel. Man, this woman could have gained cool points from anybody that was tuned in and watching and Kevin Samuels could have even promoted her, but she opened her mouth and said all kind of foolishness, all kind of foolishness. I was like, man, even when I was living wicked, I wouldn't say no craziness like this. But this woman was saying all kind of nonsense and thought it was just supposed to, to be cool, to be smooth. Everybody is buying what she's selling. But in the fact of the matter, people watching this and her doggone credit score went down even more. Went down even more. Man, I truly tell you, you're not gonna be able to help all these wicked hearted men and women. Those that have ears to hear, let them hear. You know, but this woman, I guarantee you, she thinks she knows something about the Most High Yah. And it's evident that you can't see the transformation in her life. You can't and you get what you get. You made that bed, you gotta lay in it. Kevin Samuel tried to save too many of these wicked hearted hoes. And I and, and yeah, I said it. He's, he, he, he wasted his time trying to save too many of these wicked hearted hoes that want men, but want to lead men to their destruction. Wicked hearted hoes. Think that they know better than the Most High Yah themselves. The Most High Yah put a man on this earth to lead a woman. That's the scriptural order to things. But you got women like this lady who think, oh, you know what? I don't need it. Why you want it then? If you don't need it, why you want it? Stay in line with your I don't need it mindset. See where you get. See where you get with that. Versus just shutting up and listening. Man, time and time again, you can see these women call in to Kevin Samuel's show and want to tell him everything that they know to be true, but they the one struggling. You mean to tell me you gonna pay me to call into my show and then tell me the wisdom that you need? If you got it already, why are you calling in? Let alone letting Kevin Samuels make a career for himself off of your ignorance and stupidity. Cause that's what we left with. A lot of video footage of women's ignorance and stupidity. Very few women took heed to the truthful stuff that he was saying. Closer to God Ministries, I talk about some of the same stuff, but I give you the biblical origins to it. So you know what I'm saying is backed up by the divine, by the most high Yah, and not just something that I didn't made up, then made up. Close to the guy ministries, kicking the gun barrel straight. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Bow. Hmm. So what do you got on the top? So 
you were talking about like having a high value man. And well, the question I asked is, why should the should the top ten to fifteen percent of men care what the bottom eighty to eighty five percent of women want or say? I think that they should care because it's like a difference in mindset between them and then the top 15% of women, you know? So when you start to notice um, what those type of women want, it gives you more value in the top 15% of women. But they don't want it. Yeah, I mean, but it's like, you know... No, 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 no. no. If you were if you were 18, <laughs> let me yeah. just do this. You're a teen. Okay. Universally a teen. Would you honestly care about what an average man thought? It, I mean, it depends on what I do. Like, no, no, I no, no. no, no. For, for, thank you for for relationships. Why, then why is it why is it different for you if you were a teen? I mean, because it's like it just depends on what you do. Like, no, it doesn't. We're, not, we're talking about. They, I'm not talking about. Fans. I'm not talking about celebrity guys. Okay. I'm talking about. The VP of mergers and acquisition. I'm talking about the business class. But those guys cheat on their wives with the lower women. But but who's the wife? True. So let me tell you something. The wives don't care. The, Bill, Melinda Gates didn't care that Bill was cheating because she was the wife. And the girl right. that was cheating is a side chick. See, what you prove is that women don't like the double standard. You're good with being a 10 and not caring what an average guy, because you know there's no way in hell you would marry him, screw him, or anything. But yet, you feel as though that men should care about what average women think. Just because, what? Because they have sex with them? Yeah. No. That just means you're an orgasm. <laughs> Sorry, I just think it's hilarious. Because well, they spend what state, so much what, time. What state do you live in? California. What city? L.A. Go out driving around L.A. and count the number of adults, uh, the female and the strip clubs that are for men, and just count the strip clubs that are for women. There's literally, I don't think there even is a women's strip club anymore. Thank you. There used to be one. Why do you think that it is? Because women aren't spending money like that on men. They're looking for men to spend money on them. Men understand, first off, you don't like the fact that a man will have sex with an average woman, but he ain't going to marry her. That's what okay. strip clubs and whores are for. What about the NBA players Again, I'm that not are talking marrying about, I'm not talking. low average Okay, women. I need you to understand something. I need you to focus, please. Okay. Please stop asking me about celebrities, entertainers, okay. and athletes. Can you stick to the people that we are? Yeah, but who can I give you an example of that you would well, know? Well, I don't care about them because their their world is different. Right, okay. That would be like we said, have be, looking that, women though at home. I don't give a shit. See, the, the problem is if you have to stick to the conversation right here, you can't win. Mm -hmm. Because that's no different than me sitting around talking about Rihanna, and Beyonce, and Sweetie. Do you know them? Uh, no, I mean, I've been to their parties. But Thank no. you, but you, you paid them. I didn't pay them. Did you get the point? Somebody paid them for you. Yeah, I guess so. Thank you. I'm talking about the kind of men that you would be competing with somebody else for. See, that's the, you ladies don't like to stay in reality because you just want to be right. Mm. Are you married? No. Do you want to be married? Yes. Do you want children? Yes. Do you think your husband will be a musician, an actor, or an athlete? Probably. <laughs> I'm serious. Probably. Those are the men that I've dated. How old are you? 29. No. I don't know. I mean, I have a, I have a pretty good uh, resume. Of <laughs> dicks? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, it, book is nice. Yeah, your your cockpit, your 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 roster <laughs> of, of, of dicks is, is nice, but you got no wedding rings. No. Because you're a side chick. No, I've actually been proposed to before. Mm -hmm. and is it before or after the orgasm? I actually the funny thing is the one guy who proposed to me, I didn't have sex with him. 
Now, was this, and all joking aside, but yeah. was this when you were in college or was this No, college? I was about 27. And I was like about two years ago. And is he, did he play professional sports or like Canadian basketball? No, like, he played in the NBA. And Okay. And if you turned him down, why? Because he had seven kids with six different women. And I didn't You can't make this shit up. You that. can't make this shit up. I yeah, I so, didn't want to be So the wife why in the that. hell would you you deserve what you get? That's why we laugh at women like you. I ask you if you want to be married, you wanna have kids, and when I ask you is you think your husband's gonna be in this group of men who tend to live this lifestyle, you say yes, and that's what you ultimately pick for. Instead of going over and dating men over the business side, because here's the problem. You can't handle a man over here because you got to be more than just cute. I have more than that to offer. Well, then why are you why are you putting yourself in a group of men who you say do these things? I, I don't know. In a way, it just seems like that's that's just everybody, you know. Excuse me. Like where the dating scene the, the dating scene is only NFL, NBA. Music and actors. That's the entire dating scene. <laughs> no, I mean, everybody else is like, you know, Uber drivers or, you know, DoorDash drivers. And I make a decent amount of money myself. So I, it's just like, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I swear to God, I didn't, I didn't pay her. I swear to God, I didn't pay her. It's like, I, I don't want to date somebody who makes less or does less than me. What did, what did, did you go to college? Yes. What did you graduate from? USC. What do you do for them? Um, TV film. What does that like, mean? Like, I'm, I'm doing two movies at the end of the month. Are you an actress or are you in front of the camera or behind the camera? An actress, yeah. Okay. I make a good amount of money. So what? I do. Um, Congratulations. And man. I go to well, like... Man, but look, no, no, but, but, but understand. No, 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 I need you to listen. Men don't care about your money. Men pick women based upon what? Their looks and what they have to offer. No, their looks and their body. That's where it starts. Yeah. So, on the scale, how tall are you? I'm 5'10. Dress size? About 4. How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? 160. Uh, if you had to rank yourself on a scale from 0 to 10, you can't use 7. Fresh face out of the shower, your hair, what would you give yourself? Look to Chewy for great prices on pet medications every day. Just order online. They'll contact your vet. For okay, I I consider a ten to be. I know you don't consider Beyonce to be a ten. Okay, nope. <laughs> but I consider Beyonce to be a ten. I don't I care. Jessica Alba to be a ten. I would rank myself at a nine. In nobody's life, or you are not. I, I'm sure sure not you're a six. You're an adjustable. Like you're a six. Nine. You're cute. You're cute. But in nobody's life, or you are not even close to Jessica Alba or Beyonce. I would say I'm a nine. Why? Right, of course you. get paid for what I look like. Uh, so did. I made, so did. Uh, I've made a lot of money based upon what so, I look like. So did Weezy. Weezy got paid for what she looked like. Uh, Aunt Esther got paid for what she looked like. That's not fair. It's it, you're, man. Where are your model, where are your modeling contracts? And if you're an LA nine, you should be on the cover of Cosmo. You should be in, you should be on the cover of People. If you're an LA nine, no, I mean I okay, I've been man, in the maximum okay. one hundred. Like, okay, that's fine. Man, like, how long, you may have a nice body, <laughs> but I'm saying that in a, a six is cute. Okay, even at a Justin six, but I'm not gonna put you up there with Beyonce. I wouldn't give you better than Beyonce or Justin Alba. So you're saying this? Okay, I've been I've been all over the place with saying Shawiti is a, a Justin six. six. What you? Yeah, and you're saying that you look better. Than so we, I I I would rank Shawiti at about a nine. So you I, so, so you I, and her so you so you and Sweetie going in the same place to pull the same knee. Yes, yeah, I just have a natural body. Okay. All right. Let's keep on moving. <laughs> keep, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep you out of this quicksand because if you, then where's the husband? 
I you said you know. turned down one. You said you turned down one dude because he had six kids, seven kids by six women. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, you don't get approached. Do you date guys who are businessmen? Yeah. I mean, it's just um. Let's see. The last guy that I dated was a rapper. The guy before that, he actually runs um a retail company. Uh huh. Um. Was before that, I don't remember. Like I, I'm with guys like for a long time. Like I had my relationships were lasting like two years at the minimum. I don't know. I have no ring. I have no ring. And that should tell you something because you're about to run smack dab into the wall at thirty. The glorious wall. And the point is, man. I think you're overvaluing yourself, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. The point is, you're still talking about men in a very small select group who have not chosen you. Mm -hmm. And asking you about dating men who are in the business sector, and honestly, the vibe you're giving is they're not on your level. No, it's not that they're not on my level. It's just I go to different things, like from my work and what I do, so and the events I go what? to, it's like, where am I supposed to meet them? All right, so um, you don't, are you a dog person? Or, are you, are you a dog are person or a cat person? E-harmony? Are you a dog person or a cat person? A dog person. I'm a dog. I bet you do. Why would you say that? Because there's nothing. I have a whole saying: buy a dog and die alone. Because you're you're, yeah. you're you're the same. You're talking about. I go to these places and that place. Do respect, man. Being in TV, film, cool. You make money, cool. But Oftentimes, you ladies get it confused. You confuse your socioeconomic status as to your sexual marketplace value. Those aren't the same. There are women who make more than you, who look better than you, who go to the same places. Yeah. And they're still not married to these guys because these guys aren't picking you. When they, who do these guys marry? They tend to marry average looking women. Yeah. Average looking women. I'm telling you, when I see the guys with their wives, their wives. And when did they? And when did they marry these women? When? I don't know. I have no idea. I've never really asked. Oh, they marry them after the million, so they marry them before. Oh, usually it's before the million. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. They marry so, them before. So you're Stop. saying that so, uh, they marry them? To find a man and build them up. Well, no, who's excuse you? Well. You think like, those chicks? You you think those chicks built those men? They had to have had some some hand in it, right? Like, why would you just marry those men? Yeah. You think These, that the men just built themselves? I think behind every successful man is a strong woman. If you that's what boys, that, that is why you. I'm just letting it go, man. This is gold. This is what <laughs> this she is a prototypical modern foolish woman. <laughs> Who built the apartment you're standing in? Was it a crew of women or a crew of men? Well, this is a house. And the it's house. A crew of men. Who built the car you drive in? A crew of women or a crew of men? The plumbing, yeah. the heating. Who built the world you live in? We God don't need. God is a woman. Mm -hmm. This is a fool. God is a woman. Yeah, and this is a fool. Mother right? Earth. This is a fool. Oh, boy. This is a fool. Come is anything on, no, I'm being dead serious. Man. I, no, tried to back, I tried to back. I tried to back it out, but now we're there. You're a fool. You're no, a foolish I, woman. Yes, you are because you think the God is a woman. Then why are God you in such? Then why are you in such a fucked up position? What position? Single. That's not a bad position. Really? And who says I'm single? Unmarried. Okay. Dating men who have six kids by seven, seven kids by six women. That was a mess. I don't care. Being with somebody for two plus years, God is a woman. You got a problem with God? No, I think that that's a good thing. Okay, I swear to God, I didn't pay her. People, I did not pay her. I did not pay her. And this why, is you got, why you got your comments off? Uh, look, lady, I'm trying to be nice to you, but don't make me go there. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Is that your child? No, it's my sister. I'm really trying to be nice to you. 
I'm really trying to be nice, but what you're showing is the, the entitlement of modern women. And then when you guys start losing the conversation, you start becoming little catty girls. Bottom line is, man, because bottom line, man, at almost 30 years old, uh -huh. even if you have a career, okay, you cannot get what it is you say you want. Maybe the kind of men you're going after don't want who the kind of woman you are. Yeah, I can, I mean, I can see that, but it's just, I don't go after men. Like, I don't live my life to date or to find a man. That's not what I, I don't live for that. So the people that I've dated are just people that I just mingled with and met multiple times, mm -hmm. you know, hung out with, they asked me out, they mm -hmm. me, whatnot. Right. Cool. But I, I just cool. don't go after. Cool, and that's fine. And, and that ends in casual dating, having fun, sex. But then you'll almost be 30. In a few minutes, you'll be 35. Next thing you know, if you want to have children, where this kid's going to come from? You want to have children? Do you think that women no, 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 should no, 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 be no, no, living no, no, their no. lives to find a man? Your only purpose on the planet is us. Without us, you have no purpose. That's not true. Really? Show me the place where, women, where a single solitary woman can survive without the group. Where can men survive without the women? See, 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 see what happened, folks? When I asked the question she couldn't handle, we, men and women need no, 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 we don't. No, we don't. no, 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 no. See what happened, folks? When I asked her a question she could not handle, instead of being an adult and answering the question, she played the little girl game. I'm going to deflect and redirect. Answer Wait. the question. Answer the question before you ask me a question. Where? Women dominate in a lot. Where? Where can a woman survive by herself? In my industry, in TV no, film? No, 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 no. On the planet. Yeah. I'm not talking about in the company. I'm talking about on the planet, in the environment. Oh, anywhere. Have you not Wait. been naked and afraid? Are you out of your fucking mind? Women can't no, even manipulate them. I'm, I'm going to have so, this is going to go everywhere. You don't even have the hand strength to manipulate the environment. And this is the problem. Modern yeah, women are so do. women are so detached. Drop from me the and you both in a jungle, and I bet you. That I would survive. You'd be looking at me like, oh, how do I build this shack? How do I how do I start a fire? I gotta do all that stuff. Survival instinct, I have that. And, she really thinks, and, she's, and, this, and this fool really thinks she said something. You have no idea who you're talking to. No, I'm just saying. You have no idea who you're talking to. I think you're underestimating. No, I know. Uh -huh. Well, then, see, here's the funny thing is the difference between me, you have a bunch of opinions backed up in nothing except anecdotal experience. This has already been proven out and demonstrated. Go to watch Bear Ooh. Grylls Island number two. Go watch Bear Grylls Island number two, season two, where they drop a bunch of women and a bunch of men on remote islands. By the end of six weeks, women had almost died four times. The men had almost, had almost built a home. You ladies cannot okay, survive. Ma'am, be, 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 be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. No, better women, you are not strong enough to manipulate the environment. Why do you have to open the door? Open this jar. You can't physically manipulate the environment to that's, survive. That's women making men feel important. Yeah, let me help you out. This is a this is another one of these same old dumbass. 